four new faces join the service. My name's Wally. My name's Job. I'm Tommy. I'm Jules. It's up to them to prove that they've got what it takes. But will one slithery visitor be the trainee's downfall? Ah! Just playing with deadly creatures. And as I got closer, I just realised she wasn't even holding herself above water. Alone, with four people on his rescue board, Tommy's next decision will be critical. 21-year-old rookie Tommy is itching for his first major rescue. He wants to prove to the team that he's cut from the right cloth. But at Bondi, be careful what you wish for. Sea snakes are deadly creatures. We couldn't leave a sea snake swimming close to the flags, no. Um, the preferred option would be to get it out of the water completely. Just a few milligrams of sea snake venom is enough to kill 1,000 adults. They're the most venomous snake in the world. Any update, Tommy? Tommy's a young guy. Some of the, the, the newer members to the team are, are eager to impress, you could say. It's only after Tommy volunteers that he gets all the facts. Yeah, they are super deadly. Um, his exercise all due caution. The second Dino said deadly, that's where I realised I've um, I messed up. People have died from sea snake bites. It's a fact. Yeah, trainee, just playing with deadly creatures. I'm not scared of snakes. Ah! At least I didn't think I was. After quickly paddling out, Tommy realises he won't be catching the sea snake with his bare hands. New lifeguard Jules has a solution. Troy's gone out to catch the snake with his crate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like the clubbies have got Tommy in the IRB and he might scoop it up. <laughs> Look at that. With the pressure mounting, Tommy turns to his previous experience as a tradie. Being a carpenter, I knew there's a tool for every job. And when I was in the boat, I seen the paddle and I was like, that's the tool for this job. He reached in and grabbed it with the oar and flicked it into the bucket. Job done. Like a true snake wrangler. They have the snake. <laughs> Capturing the sea snake and nobody harmed was the best case scenario. Thank you. No Tommy! You hero, high five. Turns out I'm scared of snakes. <laughs> You're a legend. Oh, it's not very well. He just needs some rest. Eventually, we had a snake catcher come along and pick him up. It's not often we find these things. Um, they're fairly venomous as well. The snake actually recovered, which was really good, and he was released later that day in a secluded beach at the harbour. Tommy's deadly snake capture gets the tick of approval. Tommy gets a bit of praise, I guess, a bit of slap on the back. But what the trainee really wants is a human rescue. I don't know if I would have earned any respect off the boys because of how I was screaming, but I got given a job and I did it. If that's what you want out of your trainee, I'm the man. As a drowning looks imminent, Jesse cancels all swimming privileges at South Bondi. Hey guys, we've made a decision. There's no more swimming here today. If you want to swim, you've got to go up to the red and yellow flag. We've had to call it a day because people just don't listen. Within moments, hundreds of people are cleared from South Bondi. But two swimmers aren't getting the message. Hey mate, if you need help, just put your hand up. We'll come out and get you. I'm just looking at these two in the south. Oh no, they're pretty close. Hey, Ryan, you're gonna head down that way. Oh, you're already going. Thanks, man. Where's your mind gone? The bloke's left in the cheek. The bloke's left in the cheek. Ryan's rescue should be straightforward, but he finds one of the swimmers in serious trouble. When I looked out, I just seen Ryan like trying to drag this guy up, and I'm like, whoa. I've got to go out and help him here. I thought I was on my own then, but yeah, I had the biggest sigh of relief when I saw Jesse paddling out. Jesse takes care of the woman, but it's clear Ryan needs more help. Normally, a lifeguard would never leave the jet ski, 
but Ryan is forced to break protocol. No other option. This this guy, if, if I didn't get off the jet ski, he was going to go under. Gavin, Gavin. The man is in terrible condition. But if the woman is left alone, she could flip the board and fall off. Jesse must make a choice. 100% it's risky, but I felt like I had no other choice but just to leave her with the board. That lady drifting out of the sea is still in the back of your mind. You've got to go back and get this lady as quick as possible because she might get into trouble again. When I got to shore, I thought, well, maybe looking at a recess because, you know, I'd, obviously the guy was just so tired. He was just like he was just asleep on the mat. When I got him to shore, he was half limp. It said in his ear, you all right, you all right? And he was just going, I'm very tired, very tired. Just a few seconds longer in the water, and the man would have almost certainly drowned. I said, have you taken on any water? And he was like, no, 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 no water, just too much swimming. And I said, yeah, too much swimming because you've been swimming in the rip for the last 10 minutes. If people don't listen, it's, it's going to make me upset. Next time when you swim, just don't swim in front of that sign, yeah? But it doesn't matter how frustrated I get. I'm down here to save people's lives. You OK now? Yeah. <laughs> Trainee lifeguard Tommy is experiencing his first Bondi Christmas. Christmas Day, I was so excited working on the busiest beach in Australia on the busiest day of the year. So much to be excited about. Yet to do a serious rescue, Tommy is keen to impress head lifeguard Hoppo. I can see a person out there in trouble. I've got this young trainee next to me, so I thought I'd give him a shot. We're going to group down here going to go in for. About halfway out, I realise they're in a lot of trouble and might have to put my foot down and get to them. Tommy's out there. At least four people are in trouble, with one slipping below the surface. Oh, I knew I just had to get to the one that doesn't have much time left in her. And as I got closer, I just realised she wasn't even holding herself above water anymore. Alone, with four people on his rescue board, Tommy's next decision will be critical. Once I had her, my next priority was the other patient. How am I going to get back four patients? Quickly, more swimmers get into trouble nearby, but Tommy is anchored down by the people already on his board. Yeah, Jesse, right where Tommy is, if you go in there, there's a couple more that need to be caught. Perfect timing, Jesse shows up with the ski. What's going through my head at that point is that I'm going to get the people back to shore safely. Volunteer lifesavers back up in their inflatable rescue boat. With people coming from all angles, the jet ski could roll. The girl, she was like dead weight, so she was really, really hard to get onto the ski. Yeah, it looks terrible. Worst case scenario, if I roll the ski, would be someone could drown. I love watching Jesse on the jet ski. It's just impressive and there's so much to learn from him and his jet ski skills. Turkish tourist Nera is unaware this is the first serious rescue for rookie lifeguard Tommy. Tommy's going really well down here. He's taken things on straight away and um, he's believing a lot in himself. That's what I think a good lifeguard is. You've got to believe a lot in yourself and take yourself out of your comfort zone. And, and he's doing these things and I'm, I'm really proud of him. Oh my God, it's so dangerous. So, I, oh my God, I said, okay, I will not make it. You know, it's a couple of uh, lifeguards, luckily. Yeah, nice to have them. It's my first Christmas day in Australia, so it's like it was kind of my dream having like hot weather in Christmas. So yes, yeah, you know, accidents may happen. Yeah.